Hello everyone, welcome to the video on Backup with 616 and in today's demonstration I'll show you how you can use Backup Exec to protect Server 2016 which is the latest offering from Microsoft. Now in order to do that I'm running two server, one is Server 2016 and the other one is BE16 and both of them they're running on Server 2016 standard edition so as you can see I've installed Windows Server 2016 and this is the server which will be backing up by using BE16. So I'm on the management console of Backup Exec 16 and I'm under the backup and restore. So the three steps that we're gonna follow in this demonstration is, first we'll add the server to our Backup Exec server, then we'll do the backup of server 2016, and then we'll see by deleting certain objects from Backup Exec by, uh, from the server 2016 and see if we are able to restore those objects from server 2016. Okay, so the first step that you want to do is you want to add the server that you have to back up. So we'll right click and hit add server. And it's a Microsoft Windows computer. And allow backup to establish uh, the trust with the server. And here you have to give the name of the server that you're trying to protect. In our case, it is server 2016. And I will uh, restore, uh, restart the uh, remote computer after installing the backup exec agent. I'm not going to upgrade the backup exec agent because this is the latest version that I have installed. And I will hit the install button. Now, uh, as you know that Veritas has announced the launch of uh, uh, backup ex exec 16 recently. So all those customers who are on the active maintenance, they can go to myveritas.com and they can uh, download uh, B16 for their trial purpose in case and uh, the general availability for that one will be from 7th of November. So in case anybody want to try that and they are not on active maintenance, they can go to veritas.com and download the trial version for it. Okay, so let me see the progress over here. So as you can see that it's uh, installing all the components that it requires on the server 2016. Now, uh, the Microsoft server 2016 has come with really cool feature. I was going through the literature. Now it has uh, uh, an option for the nano server, which gives, which, which they boost to have 92% of less footprint as compared to the GUI based installation which makes it less prone to uh, malware and uh, other attack. Now another interesting feature which I find is that the option to uh, add the resources uh, on the virtual machine which is uh, uh, running which was not an option in the prior versions and uh, they have also introduced the nested hosting of the virtual machine so if you're having a virtual machine it can be basically a host and it can host other virtual machines too. So all these features uh, make it very uh, interesting and l very compelling. So in case you want to uh, upgrade your uh, environment from maybe 2008 or 2012 R2, uh, Backup Exec Server can uh, definitely protect that. And that's what we are trying to achieve over here. And we'll see if we are able to backup and restore. So it is still going on. So let me just pause the video for a moment. And once the installation is complete, back okay so the installation has been successful so let me finish this so the next step that I want to do in this case is now I want to do the backup of server 2016 so what I'll do is I'll go under the backup and restore and under the backup and uh, select that I've already created the storage with the name storage one which is basically the C drive and I'll go to backup to disk. If you want, you can also simultaneously convert to a virtual machine, but for the sake of this demo, we'll only do backup to disk. And what we'll do is we'll test the credentials just to make sure that uh, I have all the rights. Now I'm logged in as an administrator, uh, so I don't think so I should be having any issue, but we'll test all the credentials over here.
test was successful so let me hit the ok button and uh, let me go to the edit option and in which we select what we want to back up now for this demo i don't want to do any system state let me expand the c drive and i have some folders over here so for this demonstration let me back up a folder with the name hr and i also have a text document in that one so we'll see if we are able to back that up too and hit the ok button now let's go under the backup option actually let me give the name also before i go into that so the name of the backup that i want to do is so that gives it demo one and uh, under the backup let me hit the edit option now i'm not going to do any incremental backup and uh, again i'll give the name demo one and the job name also i'll keep it demo one two so i want to run without any recurring schedule otherwise if you want to uh, run the backup at a specific schedule you can uh, mention over here so let's go to the storage so under the storage as i told you i already have the storage which is with the name storage one i'll select that you can encrypt you can uh, uh, provide the uh, encryption type over here but for this demo i'll just leave it to the default so you can go to the network you can uh, specify the notification over here who should be receiving the notification once the job has been completed successfully but uh, i'll leave all those things to the default and i will hit the ok button and i will hit ok again So as you can see that the backup has been initiated and it has been put in the active status and if i go under the job monitor it is discovering resources so it will take a moment so what i'll do is that i'll pause the video and i'll be back once the backup has been completed okay so the backup was successful so as you can see under the job history the name of the job was demo one and the storage that we have given is storage one and it was successful so the second step has been completed successfully so what i want to do now is let me go to the server 2016 and uh, let me try to delete the folder that we have backed up and let's see if backup exec can back that up so it was the hr folder and uh, i have also a text document in this one so we'll see if b16 is able to recover everything so let me go and delete this right click and delete and I will also remove this from my recycle bin. So let's get rid of this. Okay, so the HR folder has been removed completely. So let's go back to our backup exec server. And again, under the backup and restore, I will hit the restore button. And uh, I'll select next. I have a backup set from where I want to back up hit the next button and uh, I'll expand the C drive and uh, I'll select the HR folder that I have backed up and I'll hit the next button I want to restore this to the original location and uh, I'll leave this to the default hit the next I don't want to run any command but if you want to run any command before or after the restore is done you can do it over here but uh, i'll leave it that to the default too and let's give the name of the hr restore that's the name and we want to run now but if you want to run this restore at any specific schedule you can do it over here too so hit next and this is a brief summary of the settings that we have selected and you hit the finish button okay so let me give another name okay so the restore process has been initiated so as you can see that in the status it's going on if i go under the job monitor it has been put in the active state and I got the 
uh, result as successful so to test this out let me go to the server 2016 and open my file explorer and hopefully we'll be having the HR folder so here we go so we got this folder restored successfully so as you can see that uh, we were able to do the backup add that server 2016 to our windows server uh, to our backup exec 16 environment and then we were able to back up and restore that too now another thing that i want to quickly mention over here that uh, the backup exec 16 had also some other new features which has been added is for example they have already provided now the cloud connectors for the microsoft azure so in case you want to move the data directly to the azure uh, platform you can do that too the s3 cloud connectors comes built in you don't need to pay any separate license for this one and you also have the simplified disaster recovery or sdr for windows server 2016 along with uh, protection of SQL 2016 and then you can have a backup exact database hosted on SQL 2014 so all those features are uh, new uh, within backup exec 16 and they have also added the instant recovery feature for in case you're running virtual machine on Hyper-V or VMware actually which was part of the backup exec feature pack 5 so all these feature makes backup exec 16 really interesting and I'm sure you'll like this in your environment. I hope you find this video very useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.